Alright, hello guys. In today's video, we are going to be on the new snapshot 21W03A. I had to write that down because it's a weird name. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how you can actually bucket clutch in the nether. Save yourself from lava. Take no blaze damage. Do all that in the nether. It's insane. Alright, so the first thing... You're going into a world, you're gonna need powdered snow. Now, I don't know exactly how you can get this powdered snow bucket. I don't think you maybe can yet. I'm not sure. All I know is you have to be somewhere like on a mountain or something, whatever. Um, say you spawn near a mountain, you, you get this powdered snow, right? Well, this is what you can do with this powdered snow. So, you, what's, you first, you're going into the nether, you, you have your portal. Doesn't matter how you make the portal, but you have your portal. you're going into the nether i'm gonna give me some netherite armor some of that. there we go some stick and shield there we go so the basic kit that you would have for going into the nether i guess you'd probably have a lot of different stuff probably also but oh Alright, so say now you brought your powdered snow bucket. Usually, if you were trying to get down from a far distance, it would be insanely annoying because you would have to somehow make a staircase down or do something like that to get all the way down and you couldn't clutch and it was very annoying. Where in the overworld, say you, you run a mountain, you want it to fall down, easily clutch with the water bucket. Where you can actually clutch with the powdered snow bucket. Um, the only way you can't is if you're wearing leather boots because the the normal way that it happens if you're not wearing leather boots it does this you get let's see if you jump down and you go like that it stops your fall right but if you're wearing leather boots you actually land on top of it without doing it that's a game feature so that's why you can't actually clutch because you stop and it actually makes you take fall damage i've tested it it does make, make you take fall damage so you cannot do it that way now, the way you can do it is just wear any boots, any boots besides leather, and you can clutch with it. So, as you can see, you can just step down here. It's better without a shield. But, and you can practice, and you can get really good. Now, honestly, this is much easier than a water bucket clutch. Like, it's not hard at all to perform. You miss it, like, once. Like, rarely miss it. And it's a lot easier than a water bucket. If you know how to water bucket, you'll be able to do this. It's about the same, but in my opinion, it's easier and less messy because the water doesn't go every there. It's and when you pick it up, sometimes the water bucket kind of just glitches and like stays there if you click it fast enough. But this does not, so it's actually really easy. So you can just jump down, clutch, pick it up. You can do it really fast also. Sometimes you can make it go in two places, but anyway, it, you can do it really fast. Now, the other thing, this isn't just good for clutching. Yeah, clutching is good and all. And you can stop your fall damage a lot of times, as you saw in the intro. See, sometimes if you land about right here, what will happen is it will end up not stopping your fall enough, where you take a little bit of damage, but you still won't take as much damage as you would. Now, say you were debris mining. This happens a lot when you're mining debris, in my opinion. It happened to me where you'll fall in lava or something, right? And then you get out of lava. You're still going to be taking damage, and sometimes you get really low. Like, really low. To the point where you're running, you're trying to get off. Usually, you would die right here. Well, not anymore. You can instantly stop yourself from burning by just putting that on. And sometimes you don't even have to eat food. Which usually from being in lava, it takes a lot of your food away. So you can just go like that. You're out. Maybe eat one piece. Super simple. Now, a lot of people think this is a glitch, but where it can be in the nether, but I really don't think it's a glitch because they actually coded it so that if you put it encased in lava, it will burn using the same effect that water does in the overworld. Now, the reason I'm thinking, I mean, that water does in the nether. So the reason I'm thinking that it's not a bug is because when when the developers were thinking of 
lava. It, there's a good chance that when they were thinking of that, they must have thought of the nether. Of course, there is lava in the overworld, but I don't think that would have been the main cause of them making it burn out. Honestly, if there was no nether, then they might have not even added that feature because the lava is just, you don't see it nearly as much. So if they spent the time to actually add the particle effect, add it so that it, bur it burns out if it's in a certain amount of lava, then there is a good chance that it's this is a permanent feature. It being in the nether is a permanent feature. Which is really good for even speedrunning community. They can now easily fight blazes and they can easily save themselves from fall damage, which can save a lot of time if they haven't got a bastion, have a lot of pearls, or they just aren't willing to spend pearls because a lot of times they're not going to be able to now smaller falls it's not as good i mean you can tell i mean smaller falls a lot of times you miss it because you're moving like forward so much but usually larger falls you'll be able to always collect like not really always but you can clutch a lot more let's just see it's more direct if you're doing a fall but if you're doing a little fall eh it works some of the time, but usually when you're doing a slower fall, though, you kind of hit in the middle, so that's why. Now, this is, again, really good for blaze fights, which I'll show you right here. Alright, this time we're back in a new blaze. We're back in a new blaze spawner. We have shield this time, but anyway, we're going to be going in. So, now instead of playing it super safe, what you can do, bring it down. You will shield due to their melee, but you won't actually take any fire damage at all. Now, you're still going to be doing damage depending on how and where you your placement is and stuff like that. But most of the time, you can actually stay safe from a lot of their hits. So, for example, you can just be hitting and you don't actually have to be too safe because you can just go like that. Instantly putting out the fire almost like a water bucket in the overworld. So, it's very simple. You can do it productively. Now you do t take one tick of fire damage and then it burns out, but it's still, it doesn't do almost anything. We can check here. With iron armor, it only does less than one heart. Their melee does still do damage. So this doesn't help a tremendous amount, but it'd still be helpful if you're in any situation that involves fire in the nether. So you can just easily burn yourself out, maybe run away, then burn yourself out. A lot of times in an SMP or any server, I will just, or any Minecraft situation, I will just die from blazes. Even if I'm running away, I'll just die from the fire. That doesn't happen anymore. You can just burn yourself out easily, go back in, and start fighting more again. Now, you can actually get probably really skilled at this. Right now, this is my first time trying this, so it's not the, I'm not the best at this, but you can probably improve your skill. Also, make something, not necessarily like a farm, but you can almost probably put that there. Or you can... That could be a shot. If you've already cleared a lot of them out, and like I did, I've cleared all of them out, so now I'm just waiting for them to spawn. You can just sit here eating, wait for them to spawn, and then when they spawn, you can actually put them in a snow block. Now, I'm thinking of ways that you could do this. If you put it on their head, would it actually prevent them from hitting you? Well, we can see. And the answer is no. If you if you put it on if you put it on their head, they will still take damage. You will still take damage. They will still shoot you. But as you can see, there's a lot of moments where I would have died, even if I was over here, no mobs. The fire damage is brutal in Java, so this takes a lot away from it, and I feel like it's a very good feature. 
Now, as I said, it's most likely not a bug because of the way they coded it so that it would work in lava. But if it does get fixed, I'm very sorry for saying this. This is a cool feature and I think it should stay. It's a better way to get around the nether and it should be added. It doesn't though add water. Now, a lot of people would say this is very similar similar to water, so why would they add it? But the answer is no. Putting water basically makes it so you can actually grow farms. You can actually um you can put water over all of the um you can put water over all the lava, which would just make it obsidian, easy obsidian farm. There's just a lot of things you could do with water, like even like making farms, growing grass, that they aren't adding. They're just adding a one block version of water that doesn't do any of those things. All it makes it is so you can burn yourself out and so that you can clutch it in the nether. your speedrunner you're running out of here you see a piglin you're just like That's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Just so I could tell you what's on my mind. What's up, I've been calling you. It seems like I can't get.